I grew up in Orlando, Florida, living close to the Kennedy Space Center. And as I grew up, I could see launches. So we would always stop whatever we were doing if we could see a launch. Even if we were driving down the road, we would pull over so we could see the space shuttle go up. Right now, I'm a graduate student starting my fourth year studying aerospace engineering and policy at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. So I've actually just finished writing a master's thesis that's entitled The Use of Satellite Based Technology in Developing Countries. And in that thesis, I focused on satellite remote sensing, satellite communication, and satellite navigation, and looked at how all those technologies can be used to meet needs in developing countries. I've had a chance to visit Africa several times, and I'm really interested in how satellites can help people's lives in practical ways. NASA's satellite technology can help us in understanding the food we eat and how we can get it and how we grow it. So it's very important for farmers to understand first what the weather's doing and what they expect it to do throughout the year, and then also the health of their crops and whether or not there's pests attacking their crops. And they can give farmers and whole governments information about whether to expect a famine or a drought or other dangerous problems that might reduce the food supply. And if they have that information in advance, they can actually respond and prepare for such a thing and get help before it happens. When I was an undergrad, I was part of the NASA Academy. It's a special internship program that is, whose goal it is to train the future leaders of the space program. So they bring people who are passionate about space and who are willing to think about space every day for 10 weeks nonstop. The first advice I would give to somebody who's young and thinking about science uh, is to figure out what they enjoy in school, what things they like to learn. If they think that science homework and science lessons are exciting, uh, then they're in a great position to think about being an engineer or research scientist later in their life. Sometimes you can enjoy science but find the math tricky or you, you like the fundamental discussion and the questions, but actually doing the science problems or homework is, is really hard. I've needed help in every single one of my classes throughout my challenging engineering career, and I always work with people who can uh, help me learn. But the neat thing about engineering uh, is that you can learn scientific ideas and principles, and then you can get neat ideas and be very creative and say, hey, no one has ever tried taking that information and then making this new invention, but I can do that. And if I get a team of people to work with me who have different information and different background and different training, we can make something that otherwise has never been seen before.